Hey friends, this is UV here and in this video I'm gonna talk about the different types of displays available on smartphones that is the LCDs and the AMOLEDs or the OLEDs and uh, I'll also talk about the disadvantages and the advantages of both the technologies and I hope after watching this video you will be able to decide which smartphone to buy if you are stuck between two where one has an LCD and the other has an AMOLED. So guys, LCD stands for liquid crystal display and when compared to AMOLEDs or OLEDs, it's quite an old technology and the best LCD out there is the IPS LCD and where IPS stands for in-plane switching and IPS LCDs are quite good at reproducing uh, accurate colors and Apple still uses LCD screens, IPS LCD screens and um, they don't go in for LEDs as they say that OLEDs or AMOLEDs don't produce ac accurate colors rather they are they produce uh, saturated colors which are, which are not real although I, I personally like them but that's it so the advantages of an LCD screen over an AMOLED or OLED panel is that it is way cheaper to manufacture and that the sunlight readability oblique legibility is much better than the AMOLEDs or the OLEDs which are right now out in the market. Coming to the other type of displays, that is the OLEDs and the AMOLEDs. OLED stands for Organic Light Emitting Diode. AMOLED stands for Arrange Matrix Organic Light Emitting Diode, which is developed by Samsung. Now, in an AMOLED or an OLED display, each and every pixel on the screen is a separate LED which can be controlled. That is, each and every pixel can be switched on or switched off. Whereas in an LCD panel, the panel is either on or off as a whole unit. Certain parts of it cannot be switched on or switched off. This leads to a lower contrast ratio as compared to the AMOLED screens. Reason being the blacks on a LCD display are somewhat dark shades of grey, not exactly black. And whereas on an AMOLED display, the blacks are completely black because those certain pixels are entirely switched off. So that is the main advantage of AMOLED over an LCD display. Moreover, AMOLED and OLEDs produce most saturated colors which kind of pop out as compared to LCDs. And another advantage OLED and AMOLED displays have over LCD panels is that they are way more battery efficient because those certain pixels can be turned off while the display is supposed to display black color. And <clears throat> features like motor, motor display, Nokia glance screen and the, the always on display by Samsung are supported on AMOLED and OLED screens which cannot be which are not supported on LCD screens because the, the whole display will be switched on and it won't be black it would be grey. So now the disadvantage is that AMOLEDs and OLEDs are way more expensive than the LCD screens out there. So the final question is, should you go in for an IPS LCD screen or should you pay the extra buck required for the OLED displays? So in my frank opinion, unless and until you are getting an AMOLED display by Samsung, it doesn't make sense to pay the extra buck. Reason being, OLED displays like those given by OnePlus or, or Motorola or Nokia or Microsoft and etc etc all the other companies aren't much different than the IPS LCDs, the good IPS LCD screens given by Apple or, or Samsung or Motorola and so unless and until you are getting a super AMOLED display by, by Samsung, there is no point in going in for an OLED if you, are, you have to pay an extra buck for it. If it's in the same price range then obviously go for an OLED display, it's the new technology and obviously far better but still when if we compare the display quality then the display quality of an IPS LCD screen by if it's made by a good manufacturer it's quite close to the OLED display so it doesn't make quite a difference but in front of a super AMOLED panel or an AMOLED panel by Samsung IPS LCD doesn't stand a chance so that's it guys for this video and keep posted if you like my videos subscribe the channel and if you like this video then hit the like button and I'll see you later then and I'll hopefully be unboxing a Motorola Moto M by the end of this week, so stay tuned.